Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this April 8th. After a stormy Tuesday afternoon across the area, we had several severe thunderstorm warnings. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow. I apologize. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to have to start all over, so sorry about that. You podcast listeners, my loyal few, <laughs> uh, you put up with so much. Anyway, but you learn so much because you're a podcast listener. So that makes all the difference in the world. Anyway, as I was saying, Tuesday afternoon, several severe thunderstorm warnings, even a couple of tornado warnings outside of our uh, viewing area, mostly along the Ohio River. Nothing really came of those. Uh, but we did see some circulation, a little bit of rotation within some of those thunderstorms that uh, produced some uh, very heavy rainfall and intense lightning yesterday and even some small hail, some gusty winds. We could really see that any place, any time again today. Now, technically, like yesterday, we're not under a uh, slight risk of severe storms. Uh, the northern half of Kentucky is. Once you get north of the parkways, the bluegrass, the western Kentucky parkway, that area is under a slight risk. Uh, here in Bowling Green, we are not under that risk. But like yesterday, we started the day, no risk areas were on the map. And then all of a sudden, by late morning, the Storm Prediction Center decided they were going to put us under a slight risk for uh, the afternoon and it was a good thing they did we were watching just a couple of thunderstorms over missouri that then because of the moisture content which is really high those couple of little thunderstorms turned into a big complex of thunderstorms and heavy rain and it all moved this way so that's what prompted all of that yesterday afternoon and I'm not sure if I explained this here before, but I will explain it now. Some of you have noticed that follow the weather closely that the uh, Storm Prediction Center has changed their uh, risk categories. There used to only be three, slight, moderate, and high. There's now five different categories, and it's a little confusing because you have uh, a marginal, then you have a slight, then you have an enhanced, then you have a moderate, then you have a high. Well, to us here, we, we think that's a bit confusing, and so we're just going to keep it simple. We're just going to stay with the slight, moderate, and high risk. We're not going to throw in the extra words like enhanced or marginal or margarine or butter or, I mean... <laughs> I, I think it kind of muddies the waters a little bit. We just keep it simple. You know, if we're if we're not in a slight risk area, then whatever risk of severe storms is out there is, to me, just a general risk. It's not, it's not anything that's going to be a widespread big event. You know, like yesterday, it was not that big of a deal. We didn't really have that many reports of damage. Uh, there were a few reports of some downed trees and, of course, some flash flooding because of the heavy rain. But uh, other than that, there were no tornadoes, no really uh, severe thunderstorm criteria, uh, except for just in a few small areas, a few spots. They were strong thunderstorms, but I think over the years we've just kind of reconditioned ourselves from when I was growing up. Um, you know, those would just be general thunderstorms. What we got yesterday, a lot of lightning, a lot of thunder, some heavy rainfall. Those, those when I was growing up, was just regular thunderstorms. But I think over the years, we have just prompted people to be afraid of every single storm. And certainly there's a risk factor with every storm. Lightning is a big danger, but, I mean, that's always been there. That's always been present. I think we we've overcompensated and we've we've uh, further confused people by adding all these categories and colors and instead of just keeping it simple 
uh, we we've we're, we've made it more confusing. Well, I say we, but I'm saying as a collective, uh, the weather folks. So we're going to stay and and keep it simple with just the slight, moderate, and high risk uh, areas when they're put out. We're not going to deal with enhanced or marginal or any of that stuff. It just people don't know what we're talking about, and it's you know going to make things more confusing and potentially uh could could uh you know make matters worse so uh today there is just a slight risk of a severe storm north of the bowling green area but like we saw yesterday it really could be in any place any time kind of a scenario we've got high moisture content the muggy air is over us the uh, front is stalled out to the north of the Ohio River, but any kind of an outflow boundary or sunshine, anything like that could spark more showers and thunderstorms and potentially more drenching downpours and maybe even a strong or severe storm. So keep that in mind. That's going to be the case all day today and all day tomorrow into early Friday when we finally get a cold front moving through the area. That'll put an end to the unsettled weather, at least for this week. Well, yesterday's high, a muggy 80 degrees at the Bowling Green Airport. 67 is the average. That's a 13-degree difference. 58 was our low, 43 the average. That's a 15-degree difference. One year ago, we had a high of 67 and a low of 46 back in 2014. At the airport, they only picked up five hundredths of an inch of rain for the day. Forty percent chance of a scattered shower or thunderstorm again today. That sounds low, but uh, any of those storms could produce copious amounts of rain. They could be strong with a lot of lightning, possible small hail, gusty winds, a high of 82. On radar, we're seeing light scattered showers now moving in from Missouri. So uh, any time today we get a little bit of sun energy mixing in with that instability, and there you go. Mostly cloudy, a slight chance of a shower tonight, a low of 64. The main event is going to come Thursday evening into early Friday morning with the passage of the cold front. We're going to see a partly sunny, warm, breezy, humid day for Thursday, a high of 82. A chance of showers and a few thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening, some of those becoming severe. That's when our severe weather risk goes up, covers all of the WBKO viewing area for Thursday night into very early Friday morning. We think the frontal passage will happen sometime between 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. If that should happen, I will be here to cover it live. Uh, if we get uh, severe storms during that time of the morning, you know, we've done it before. Not a big deal. I'm usually here anyway. Uh, so that, that looks to, to be when it's going to happen. And then we uh, clear out for Friday afternoon a bit cooler. Behind the front, a high of 69, maybe 70, for Friday. Saturday looks great. Lots of sunshine. We warm it back to around 70. Sunday, mostly sunny, 77, but clouds approach ahead of our next system. That we'll have to keep an eye on for Sunday night into Monday. Monday looks rainy, stormy, 78. Tuesday, scattered showers, and 71. All right, that'll do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless you as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. That line, that motto, now more than ever. You know, yesterday was a good example. It doesn't have to necessarily be in the forecast for it to happen. The potential is there with this much moisture, this much energy. This much instability that we could get strong to possibly severe storms where you live. So just be prepared. Have a great day. Thanks for listening. God bless.